When it comes to GTA 6, I rarely ever make videos about rumors or leaks about the game. But every once in a while I do. And that's because I see something that would be truly game changing. And what I just saw would be absolutely insane. Now, like I said, this could be completely fake, but if it does happen, it'll be crazy. So I'm scrolling on Twitter and I saw this post. They went on to say GTA 6 will reportedly feature an ever evolving map as Rockstar plans to update the game over time, adding new cities on a regular basis with Vice City being the main setting. Taking a closer look at the picture, you could see how this map could end up looking if this actually does end up happening. We'd start on the far right and slowly build towards the left. Los Santos would probably be one of the last cities to be added if this did happen. But when it comes down to it, this would be game changing and it would make GTA 6 one of the best games of all time. I know a lot of people are starting to have doubts about GTA 6. They've seen the leaks in alpha stages and stuff like that and they're like, this game looks like ass. Well, it's not ready to be released yet, obviously. There's still a lot to be done. And people who are saying it's going to be ass, I mean, yeah, you can always assume one game might be good, one game might be bad. There's two different sides for everything. But if they do end up doing something like this, imagine how insane that would be. Recently, updates in GTA 5 haven't been the greatest, and you can all agree with that. But in the past, they released some banging shit. So I'm assuming that in the next GTA game, they're going to go out of their way to make every single update that comes out insane. So imagine, the game comes out, we get a couple cool content updates, and then randomly they're like, hey, we're going to be adding... Las Venturas, or we're going to be adding Liberty City or North Yankton to the game. This is something we've wanted to see for the longest time in GTA 5. We were even just hoping to see North Yankton get added into free mode so we can go and access it. We got access to Cayo Perico in a way, even though it's not really connected to the main city or state of San Andreas it is technically accessible still in free mode. But imagine they just add each specific map to the game. And obviously it will be completely redesigned, which would make it even cooler. Maybe it wouldn't, maybe it would. It probably would be, to be completely honest. Especially Los Santos, if this were to happen, like I said, Los Santos would probably be added last, which means they got tons of time to rework a lot of things and add different things to the game. Now, like I said, this is a rumor or it's reportedly going to happen. When it comes down to it, don't get your hopes about anything that you read online because the only official things we know come from Rockstar Games themselves and of course that one leaked video that came out a while ago. I'm still kind of pissed that thing got leaked because honestly it would have been much better for Rockstar Games to release it. They were obviously super disappointed about that but either way it is what it is. It's in the past now. Let's just move forward from there. But if Rockstar does decide to do something like this, they will have two GTA games in a row being absolute bangers. And I would assume GTA 6 would probably last like another 12 to 13 years, because imagine six years go by, the game is still extremely popular, number one played game, and then they go on to say, hey, we're going to be adding two brand new cities to the ever evolving map. Think about how insane that would be. It's like a whole brand new game is coming out and they would probably add more story missions, story quests, and obviously a bunch of stuff in the online aspects of the game. This would just be the craziest thing any game developer has ever done. Like try to think of another game where they did something like this. Obviously it would be fairly difficult. It would take up a lot of space, of course, but I think it would be 100% worth it because it would just be so much fun. It's like a whole new game is coming out every couple years or every year or something like that. The only possible downside I see for something like this happening is the fact that it's going to take up a lot of storage, whatever you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, PC, or whatever else you're able to play GTA 6 on by the time it comes out. It's going to take up a lot of space for each of these new cities if they are ever added. Like I said, this is all just speculation. It might not happen. It might happen. Rockstar might not even talk about it until the time comes to release something like this, which could be in 2026. Who knows? Either way, I think this would be insane, and I think we can all agree on that. Let me know what you guys think of it down below in the comments section, and what do you think the odds are of this happening? Just before we end things off for today, if you've been getting bored or tired of waiting for GTA 6 to come out, why not check out one of the best RP servers in the world, Grand RP? They are this video's sponsor. Have you ever wanted to play GTA 5 as a police officer, or as a doctor, or as a gang member, or drive hundreds of different real cars? If so, check out Grand RP, one of the best roleplay servers in the world. If you click the link down below in the description, when you join, you get $25,000 in-game completely free. Anyways, that is going to wrap things up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you went on to enjoy it. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next one.